Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of converting units. This is standard 6.4H in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 39 off the 2016 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So it looks like we have a simple conversion here. We've got two different units here, one meter, 20 centimeters, and we need to turn that into millimeters. So how can we convert units? Well, there's two different ways that we're going to do it. So I'll show you a way that we can use with just the metric system, and that's using a mnemonic. And so uh, sometimes we are used to mnemonics for whether it be PEMDAS for the order of operations. Uh, so that is going to be Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, sometimes we are used to uh, mnemonics for the order of the planets. So my very energetic mother just served us pizzas or nachos, depending on uh, whether you want to include Pluto or not. Well, in this case, what we're trying to do is we are trying to remember uh, the prefixes for our system of metric measurement. And what helps is that our metric measurement system is based on tens, just like our place value system. So it's a base 10 system. So if we can remember the order of the prefixes, then it's just a matter of place value. So I wrote out kings hate dragons because dragons create messes. That's just a silly mnemonic statement that we need to keep in mind. And so each of these are going to represent a place value here. And so it's just going to be the first letter of each. And so B is going to be our central Point. and this B is just the base. So this base right here means it works for all three different types. So we can either use meters, I'm going to put a little line underneath that, so meters, liters, which is a capital L, or G for gram. Just depends on whether we're measuring distance or we're measuring mass or we're measuring capacity. In this case, it's going to be meters because we are measuring distance, so we're just going to put a uh, two lines there to signify we're dealing with meters. Now, the largest is going to be kilo, and that's where the K comes from. And you notice that uh, one kilo is a thousand meters because it's three places over. We're going to think of this as like the, this is like the ones place, this is like the tens place, this is the hundreds place, and this is the thousands place. That's the kilo. One we don't really use too often, it's going to be hecto. Uh, another one we don't really use too often is going to be deca, but this is DA. And so we could say one decameter is 10 meters, or uh, one hectometer is 100 meters, because that's where it is. And then finally, we're not too familiar with decimeters, because that's a tenth. So we're going to put this as a 0.1. But we are familiar with centimeters. That's the hundredths place. And millimeters. And so that is going to be our thousandths place. So if we can just remember this, kings hate dragons because dragons create messes. We can get our prefixes, three on the left of our base unit, three on the right. And now we've got one meter. So I'm just going to put a one meter right there and 20 centimeters. So I'm going to build 20 centimeters. So we're going to do it like this, 20 centimeters. And that is going to give us a unit. And we have to go over here to millimeters. So you see that I need to look at from this millimeter point of view. I've got a 1, a 2, a 0, and a blank. So we are going to put our 0 right there. And so that's going to give us our answer of 1,200 or 1,200. Now, how can we do that without all of this? Well, basic conversions. We know that one meter equals 1,000 millimeters. This is on our conversion chart. So right now we've already got 1,000 millimeters. We need to know that one centimeter equals 10 millimeters. So we just need to take that 10 and multiply it by 20 because we have 20 centimeters. And there's your 200. So that means 200 centimeters equals, or 20 centimeters equals 200 millimeters, and add the 1,000 and the 200, and you get your 1,200. 